morning. Hey dudes, and welcome back to a brand new vlog. I'm going this way, turned around, did a U-turn because there was lots of people there and still, you know, we're still awkward vlogging. But welcome back to a brand new vlog. Today is a vlog because I asked you guys loads of things like what videos you wanted me to do and still they're all quests still to do the what I eat in a day videos and I just have to put a little disclaimer out here like I would do these for you but it, I don't think it would be morally right because right at the minute I am eating a diet to gain weight and I'm actually averaging over 4,000 calories a day and sometimes it's 5,000 and I don't think it would be right for me to film what I eat in a day because a lot of people look at it and think that that's what they should be doing or like I don't basically I don't want to promote my diet to everybody because it's a gain weight diet and it's only for me and not for everybody else like I don't know let me know your opinions like I will do it if you think it's okay but I don't know if it's okay to promote people eating 5,000 calories a day because it's healthy and right for me but it's not healthy for every other body and I think there's like a little bit of a icky gray area with those videos and what people should and shouldn't promote but like if you really want me to and you're like interested in what that kind of diet for somebody who needs it looks like then I will do that but there has to be like a strong dis disclaimer on it that like this is a diet for me who needs to gain weight should eat but not what everybody else should eat so I can do it but I just need to pre-warn you this gal packs in packs in the food you would be surprised anyway Today is a vlog and I'm right now late. Oh my god, what a surprise. Yes, the life of Olivia. But I am on my way to Camden just to meet my friend to shoot some photos for the gram outfits of the day and I actually can feel it raining on me right now so that's really fun. But anyway, I'm about to get the tube so Hopefully I won't get too wet and see you when I see you in Camden with my friends, so bye! Also, FYI, it's a reusable cup, but it just looks like a paper one, but I promise you, it is reusable, don't you worry! Hey Camden! Not raining yet! A wild eager in her natural habitat outside this bookstore which we are going to shoot at which is very me so I hope it's okay for you it is another day of this however long vlog but yes it is the next day and I am in full fashion week preparation mode so this is not really my comfort zone or my jam hence why I'm leaving it all to the last minute it's fashion week tomorrow or but like my events tomorrow so I've got to prepare so I'm hoping to go to the hairdressers now and fingers crossed they have an appointment for me to get my hair done deal with this situation then I have to go pick up some shoes for my fashion week outfit which I'm very excited about I'm going to be obviously wearing a full thrifted vintage outfit and 
the only thing that won't be vintage is the shoes which i really hope they are there they promised me that they would have them in by 11 30 and i'm so excited to show you i'm not going to tell you what they are yet but yeah i'm gonna go go true true to live and not to what everyone else does at fashion week i am going to do a fully thrifted vintage on the cheap because I'm cheap outfit apart from the shoes the shoes shoes are like my little guilty pleasure thrifting queen but I do occasionally allow myself some shoes so we can let me off okay fingers crossed I can get my hair sorted don't really know what else you're supposed to prepare by doing what else do girls do maybe i should get my nails done but do you know what i freaking hate getting my nails done it's like sitting down for like two hours and i'm like i'm very bored right now so i'd rather have disgusting nails so maybe i will paint them myself anyway check in with you in a little bit also sorry me again just really quickly have to show you the cutest thing i thrifted from rocket yesterday when i was with Vega yeah the cutest mini puma handbag and yes this is coming to fashion week with me and yes it cost me 10 pounds and yes it's freaking adorable and i love it so yeah i just wanted to tell you that rocket in camden is the one so this is where i get my hair done or hopefully get my hair done let's go in and see if they have any spaces for me fingers crossed Woo, i got the goods i am getting my hair done at 12 p.m we are now off oh that's a very green bus we are now off to go and fingers crossed get my shoes but today is proving to be a good day because I got a last minute hair appointment I'm gonna go get coffee and pray for Olivia my shoes have arrived see you in a bit home and i have got the good i'm literally so obsessed i am so in love with them and they smell like new shoes i love them i love them so much that is my one little bit of indulgence for my fashion week outfit and forever outfit because i'm gonna wear them forever and ever and ever but now it is off to go get my hair done and then i think i'm pretty much prepped because i still can't think of what else i need to do because i am a very simple girl so let's go get our hair done i am now on my way to go oh there's a wasp ah can you see this wasp oh go away go away anyway anyway Anyway, yeah, this wasp is still... Go away. Uh, yeah, I am now off to go get my hair done. Ready for tomorrow. And I think, I think, kind of think, I have... Oh my God, I'm so awkward when people walk past me. I think I have kind of decided what I'm going to wear. Like, I haven't really addressed the topic that much with you guys, but it's really important to me that I wear charity shop finds, I wear vintage thrifted outfits or items that I already own because it is something that I promote because I have felt really strongly about this for so long and I just wouldn't feel comfortable going to fashion week having a fully new high street fast fashion outfit put together just for that one day i'm not gonna do that i'm going to go anti the usual fashion week and just create an outfit out of what i already own and that is thrifted apart from my one indulgence which is sneakers i think everybody can have that one thing that they save up for and is a really special buy and i really like sneakers 
but I'm a huge advocate for reusing what you already own. Fashion to me should be a celebration of what it is as an art form. It is a form of art that you put onto your body so i look at it as if your body is a canvas for the colors the fabrics and everything that fashion involves so yeah basically i view your body as a as a canvas and fashion is your art and basically and basically i think fashion should be more a celebration of someone's creative insight into how they've put together an outfit out of existing items and what they already have rather than just the ability to go to a high street fast fashion store a put together trend already laid out there for you is the easy option um boring option and i don't think we should be promoting that option so i'm kind of going anti-fast fashion fashion week in my own little way but i'm not really doing anything different it's just me it is high dress thrifted so staying true to me and that's what I'm gonna do. <sighs> Rant over, we are actually going to get my hair done. And yes, but I just had to address that because it is an extremely important topic to me, basically, if you haven't already figured out by now. But I think I've decided I will wear probably a cut off black Harley Davidson t-shirt, maybe long sleeve. And then if you follow me on Instagram, I have these trousers from a few years ago that one leg is white, one leg is black. And you know what? I think that's, that's kind of cool. Kind of, kind of fashion, kind of fashion week. And my new shoes that I got yesterday, uh, all my gold jewelry that I already own, and this vintage bag, which I showed you earlier, this little cute thing. So I'm going to accent my outfit with a load of sort of red and gold accessories. And the other day from Royal Trinity Charity Shop in Notting Hill, I brought this really super cute, like, I want to say 80s gold waist belt. So I'm going to put that on. So all my accessories are going to be gold and red and I might wear a little vintage red silk scarf, which you will also have seen on my Instagram recently. And basically that's what I'm feeling and I'm kind of excited about it. And you know, moral of my story, you don't have to go fast fashion to fashion week. Fashion week should be about celebrating the art of fashion and not what you can pick up easily in a store. I get very nervous talking about this kind of thing because being political in a worldwide web is very tricky to negotiate because it's very easy to troll and be opinionated online and you can't do wrong for doing right. So yeah be nice to me be kind because it's the small things that everybody does to try as long as people are trying and i am trying i am by no means a saint but i am trying to do what i believe is right that's all i can do and if we layer upon people trying this mounts up to being a huge effort that has the ability to move the needle and create a real difference that's what i believe and that's what i'm doing and we are now gonna go get my hair done and we are getting my hair cut by my very fashion hairdresser what was your name kenny Penny. He's also going to Fashion Week tomorrow, so yes. he is in charge of my hair. Yeah. That makes her look pretty. <laughs> Try, it's quite quite a hard task. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm just getting it like naturally lightened with uplift or something. Pray, pray for Olivia. New hair, new live.
Here ends the vlog because I've got my hair done. I've done everything I need to do for tomorrow. I'm kind of nervous. Apart from the fact that I actually haven't decided what I'm going to wear yet because I had that one idea I told you about. But I'm really unsure. Really don't know. All I know is that it's going to be vintage. And the one thing I do know is the shoes. I am definitely wearing the shoes which I gave you a little sneak peek of. So basically I will just match my outfit to my shoes. And I just popped into Waitrose, bought some fish fingers and some bread. So I'm going to make myself a fish finger sandwich because I just really craved a fish finger sandwich. So that's what I'm going to do now. And you're going to have to stay tuned till tomorrow to see what I wear and what I get up to. But I will try my best to vlog everything fashion week or everything that I do because I'm literally just, I'm going to see, I haven't told you, I'm going to see House of Holland show and self-portrait, which is very, very exciting. Also going for breakfast at the Ivy and lunch at the Mayfair. Maybe I'll see Sajid David because I'm doing a collaboration with the Mayor of London's organisation. So that's also fun. But anyway, in other news, I'm really quite happy with my hair, even though it doesn't look any different. It won't look any different to you, but basically I got a really deep Oplex treatment like they had to put it in foils and you get an oplex which treats like your hair it's like a deep conditioning makes it really soft and helps the condition and damaging damages and everything like that so that is fun see you tomorrow and also don't forget to follow my instagram and subscribe if you're watching this subscribe to my channel